I oftentimes describe you as, let's see if you can get this, Rob Mays. Okay. I'm, actor, having, I'm having deja vu. Actor, singer, uh, uh, mime, busker. Retired mime. Oh, all right. Retired. A very short-lived career, in fact. Yeah, because you, you didn't pause long enough to really... <laughs> you're like, <laughs> retired mime. I describe you, and I think this is accurate. I'd like feedback from everyone. I think your look, and you're an actor, is the sheriff from Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. It's a great show. Uh, you didn't great, know that show. Great actor. You couldn't even... Um, it's one of my favorite... Uh, Cartoons, in fact. Um, you don't know that show. No, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Did you watch it? <laughs> Hell yeah, I watched it. I was I was shooting a movie in. Um, are we peaking? How are my levels? <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting you a movie. Pe- in, you peaked uh, a long time ago. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, womp womp. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. I've really enjoyed this. Uh, okay, that was good. You set yourself I, up. I gotta be somewhere. Um, really? You don't have a watch on. Good. Go ahead. Where were you or what? I was doing a movie yeah. uh-huh. in uh, in Kansas City. Tell me about your movie. And I was watching The Stranger Things uh, in my hotel room. You put a the on Stranger Things. The Stranger Things, yeah. No, I think yeah. it's Stranger Things. Yeah. By the way, we need a Stranger Things. Where is a show like Stranger Things this summer? I'd, I feel like we need... One of those summer shows like that. There's nothing to look forward to this summer like that. Not a damn thing. <laughs> I mean, there's real life for sure. <laughs> yeah, but who looks forward but to that? Yeah. I am still shook by the the finale of Succession. Well, I'd like to say I was too. Uh, don't tell me what happened because uh, I, do you ever drink uh, unpasteurized milk? Oh yeah, it'll get, it runs right through you. It's a river run through. Well, it runs right th- right in my veins right now. Really? Because I'm drinking it. But I, what I do is I have a glass of it nonstop. No, not not. I mean, well, I mean, there's probably still you know some in my mm-hmm. in my body, as it were. Uh, but I've been drinking it before bed. Oh. And then it just puts you right, right to sleep. So so fan. so in f- to sleep. In fact, that sometimes I don't even make it to bed. That's how effective, you know. So. Yeah, because you, problems. I love this. Well, I, well yeah, because you moved here from Cali to Jolton and you mentioned chickens. You had chickens? Yeah, I got some chickens though. What are their names? <sighs> you don't have names for your chickens? Oh, we got names for our chickens. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What we you got, got? We got Minnie. Mm-hmm. We got, uh, I'll get that. That was you coming is up that, with the name. Yeah, does that? Yeah, light, light bulb. Mini? Is that going to happen again when I come up with the next name? It might. Mini Roosevelt. Oh. Melania and Goldilocks. Your girlfriend clearly named them. Yeah, yeah, I can't take credit. Uh huh. All right. I had chickens once. I had chicken pox once. Did you? No more. Just one time. Did you get the. Oh, yeah. You get shingles now, though. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not because I'm old that but I everyone's know that. had chicken pox. Not everyone. For the most part. No. You crazy know, crazy story. That I know. Cra- this is crazy. I want Actually, names. you're reminding me. Okay, this you. <laughs> there is a six degrees of separation, like, and you can die from chicken pox as an adult. BTW. Okay, so Stephen. WTF. My friend Stephen went to an event at our friends, Curtis and Desmond. And he went to hug Curtis, and Curtis said, don't hug me, I have shingles. Ah. And then Stephen almost still hugged him, and I'm like, why would you still hug him? He said he had shingles. He goes, I just thought he wasn't a hugger. I go, either way, he sent you the message not to hug. Why would you still hug somebody? Any opportunity to not hug somebody, I mean. But also, this is a person who just said, I'm not a hugger. Even me, freakish extrovert. If somebody said, don't fucking hug me, I wouldn't hug them. Like, th- clearly you're going, I'm not a hugger. If somebody, like, I can't even take that social cue. But but that said, that's actually, this is, this is a good takeaway uh, for everyone listening. Because if you don't want to get hugged, just let people know. I have leprosy. Uh, whether it's true or not, uh, yes, that you have the plague, in fact. Or but also, if you have the plague or leprosy or <laughs> shingles or chicken box, maybe don't host a party. 
I mean, but I don't know if you have shingles, can you still host a party? You know, maybe just keep a little distance. I don't know how shingles work. I mean, I'm Where not. Where on his body was the shingles? It's it was on the back of his arms. Now Ooh. this is on my next on is the he next long sleeves. Yes, on the next Kelly Ford Show podcast, the incubation period will be up, and we'll see if indeed. Stephen got them. Nothing to be okay. joked Has about because honestly, you can. Stephen been interviewed here. Has he touched this microphone? No. Okay. But honestly, you really can die from chicken pox as an adult. Not not wait, to be wait. mocked. And I do feel like, as a mother, my children got the chicken pox vac- vaccine. But I feel like there's this window of like thirty somethings before the vaccine came. I mean, maybe it's thirty to about forty. I don't know what the window, but somehow I think the 30 year olds didn't get the vaccine. I know you're shocked I'm not 30, but. Huh. Yeah, so I don't know. You, I don't know how we got there. I didn't there. get the vaccine, the shingles but you got, vaccine, but I got, not the shingles, the, 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 the chicken pox. It's all in the same family. But you can get shingles at any age yes. because my buddy Chuck Wicks, I don't know how we're talking about infectious diseases now, huh. but Chuck Wicks somehow got shingles in the eye. Oh God! At one point, this Why is a while lean ago. In when you said that, I'm just saying. Real close, jeez. This is like shingles talk, but anyway. Holy cow. Back to you. Um, back to you. Just be careful out there. And I'm just saying, the shingles vaccine are available. And I'm not saying you're old. Are you sponsored by the, the shingles vaccine? No, but I can be. The <laughs> Kelly Ford Show she podcast. She can be. You can't sponsor. <laughs> I would rather be sponsored by a liquor company or something cooler, but hey, money's money and times are tough. Or so. what's the new one that everyone's doing now? Um, uh, Ozempic? Ozempic. AstraZeneca? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Don't but stop. I, Keep going. I love these words. Um, Say these big words to me. <laughs> I like it. I don't know, but I see that all the time. I don't know. Claritin. Claritin. I my allergies. That would are be a good sponsor. I feel. Yeah, I feel like that too. Everybody's got you know? allergies. Do you do you like Allegra or Claritin or Zyrtec? I am a, a Claritin person. Me Zyrtec too. knocks me out. Right out. Yeah. Maybe even more than milk. If I have that with a glass of unpasteurized milk, I'm probably down for days. Back to the milk, since you didn't ask me what my chickens' name were when I had them. But why milk? Why does it knock? Does it have tryptophan in it? Wait a minute. So you did have chickens. I did have chickens. But no longer. God rest their soul. Yeah, yeah. I, I adopt. What, what were their names? Their names. Speaking of Chuck Wicks, one was Chick Wicks. No way. Yeah, he loved that. Uh, Jennifer Nettles. Oh, that's good. And every time I interviewed, I actually saw Jennifer. A every few, time was one of your chickens? No. Every time I je- interviewed Jennifer Nettles, I really should finish sentences. That should be a fun game to play on my podcast. <laughs> How many sentences? Who, who can cut off who more? No, I just don't finish a thought. Uh, every time, it was great when I did radio. <laughs> Program directors love that. <laughs> every time I interviewed Jennifer Nettles or saw her on the streets of New York, which actually was kind of frequent, she would say, oh. Oh, how's my chickens? Oh. I'll say they're dead. She's dead. Oh, geez. Yeah. This is a morbid story. Well, okay. I adopted a dog to protect the chickens. Turned out despite... No such r- luck. No, despite really aggressive friends not food training. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I'd look over and sometime he'd be like this. Oh, God. And then I'd be chicken out of your mouth jeez but he ate them he ate two of them then I think a fox got one of them but Hennifer Nettles Loretta Hen um Loretta Hen Hennifer Nettles Chick Wicks oh Reba Cluckentire and I did get to actually tell Reba and I thought she'd be more excited than she was about it she was like I mean she was fine she wasn't rude. I right? met when I, I, I met when I when I met her. I, I, what am I trying to say here? It's catching. <laughs> I think when I when I met Reba, she was standing in a in a in a semicircle of uh, people at a uh, party. Mm-hmm. I, I can't confirm or deny if anyone there had shingles. Um, anyway, you didn't get them if they did, which is good. No, no. But she was standing next to me and telling a story, you know. And then she turned to me and she goes. Hi, I'm Reba. That the, Just like you think that she yeah, would say, you I know, like when the moment might come in someone's life, you know, mm-hmm. the mirror. It was just like, Hi, I'm Reba. I'm Reba McIntyre. I'm Reba. Hi, I'm Reba McIntyre. Yeah. Yeah, she's cool like yeah. that. 
Has Reba been on the program yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to call her. Reba. Reba, get on my program. Come on. I'm not really that good friends with her. No, me neither. Yeah. I'm, I mean, yeah. Sometimes I think... I don't even think she follows me on Instagram. I don't, I don't think. I don't she think. should. Because actually, everybody should follow him on Instagram. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff here. Laying down the law. Laying down the... He posts some really interesting photos. Yeah, I mean... Is your, is your mom alive? Yeah, she's alive and well, thank okay, you. Okay, just wondering. Christ. <sighs> Come on, I'm tr- not trying to kill well. her. Yeah, no, she's good. My, dad, if she, my dad's doing just fine. If those asking. photos haven't killed her, nothing no, can. No, but this, it's, I mean, that is, you know, it's very PG. It's very PG. Yeah. You know? You keep the other stuff for your OnlyFans page. And I've, oh, gosh. Uh, none such exists. Did it at any point. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you, you are Barbara Waltersing me. Sometimes okay. Okay. I who's, who's who's my favorite? I mean Barbara Walters. I mean aside from you. <clears throat> but yeah. Sometimes I will look at well, when she you've gotten, when she passed when she passed. God rest I, her soul. I was just a wreck. A Honestly, wreck. honest wreck. I mean, she is a, actually God, icon. She is an wreck. iconic legend. Nobody could get the answers out of people like like she could. Yeah, and she just had such a air. You yeah. know, oh my goodness! I, I was watching the. Um, I agree. The ABC, I think it was ABC. Was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The special, you know, on her and with my girlfriend, and oh my god, she looks over and she goes, "Are you crying?" I was like, "You bet your ass, I'm crying, and you should be too." Because, well, because I don't think interviewers like her exist anymore. Like, they're really they don't. I mean, except you're saying me, but oh yeah, in a different way, like that kind of. It just doesn't exist. Yeah, same, same but different. Yeah. Yeah. Same but wildly <laughs> no, different. Not at all the same, but so similar. He's like, never did she ever say the F word, but yes, not like that at all. Um, but no, like that kind of, uh, but I do think she was able to, where I will take what you said as a compliment. I do think she was able to get people to be real and Illicit. break it down. She listened. What'd you say? <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. No, back to your your photos because they have gotten a little more tame. Is that did that coincide with your girlfriend who's an angel straight from heaven no, that you don't nothing, deserve? Nothing to do with her. I, that's absolutely true. <clears throat> that is absolutely true. She's amazing, and uh, you know, for the most part, she's uh, she's very patient. Does she ever get like take that take that shit down? No. Okay. No. Okay. No, but a mutual friend of ours uh, did <laughs> call me. <laughs> and so I need to talk to you. And I was like, hey, what's up? So. Okay. It's, it's tamer. Um, it's tamer. But it was always tame. It was always tame. It's just tamer now. As an actor and a TV, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if you are a TV fan. Like, I don't really, f- I'm not getting that vibe from you. Or do you just not have time for it? Because I... I don't know. You don't, you've I, watched Succession. You didn't really love no, 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 Stranger I, Things. I, I, no, I like Stranger. I, I I love Stranger Things. In fact, the first few seasons. I, I love really, this. I love you on the defensive. Really enjoyed. Well, I'm not being defensive. I'm not shouting. <laughs> I'm raising my voice. Christ. Um, but no, what love, what have been your favorite shows? Like I I the mean Kamish. the Commish. Okay. Twenty twenty. 2020 uh, the show 48 hours what uh i don't murder, know you she wrote <gasps> are you uh, not now I'm Look, not making this up. This is you true. You loved Murder, She Wrote? When I was like eight, okay? okay. No, and that's fair. Uh, I want you to be I, real, though. I feel the, like you're acting right now. No, no, this is totally legit. Okay. This is totally legit. Those are my favorite shows. You know, and, and we had like homework assignments, you know, at eight years old or 10 years old, whoever you are. What you're was it about that? Was it Angela, like, were you, did you have a whole Jerry Roman succession thing with Angela Lansbury? Or was it the mystery? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's a great storyline, also. About it was that. a great storyline. Yeah, and, and and Rome is uh, superb. Um, in fact, my first movie was with Kieran Culkin. Were you the bad guy in Home Alone? No, I was just a bad Culkin, extra. I was you a bad, were I was a bad background. Yeah, bad background. No, but uh, yeah, I mean, we can sidebar on Succession right now because I I just oh, got on board accidentally, like at the very end. Well, it's a, a good accident. No, because I feel like every episode was like, hey, I really should have silenced my phone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I know. Maybe it's Reba. 
<laughs> it's Reba. She's calling. We, I want to be on. We've tapped into the the Reba ether, and she's she's feeling it. Her nose is itching. Sister, I want to be on. Are your ears tingling. I want to. I want a new show, what, what and I want. Those are itches that's not uh, <clears throat> shingles when someone's thinking about you. Listen, I want to do a new show, and I want Rob to be my husband in it. Wait, use two microphones. Is that I want to do. I want to do a new show, and I want Rob to be my new husband in it. All right. Um. Now for oh no, I really feel like. Uh uh-huh. First of all. Yeah. On on for reals, then we're gonna go back to favorite shows because I want to get back to murder she wrote. But that show. This and I haven't murder she wrote. No succession. Mm, succession. I do want to, and I haven't. I'm one of those people. I don't like to be tainted by internet views. This is my genuine view. Between colons and taint, <laughs> we just we yeah. Is, um, as a mother, as a child, I I feel like it's so much more about like families and trauma, and it's I, I, that's why I feel like it's such a great show. And ever as an actor, I'm not an actor, but I feel like almost every episode was like Academy Award level. And I was so irritated over Memorial Day weekend. Somebody was like, oh, I feel like at the end, all of them irritated me. It was so overacted. I'm like, stop it. All of it was, the writing was brilliant. The acting was brilliant. I hoped you blocked them. Yeah, I was like, no. I'm like... But I just I loved it so much. That All could be the storylines. Texting you right now. Yeah. Like maybe maybe they're having a change of heart. So I, I I mean as an actor, don't you feel like everybody came out across? It literally was like just watching real conversations. It's superb. Triggering. It's superb. And it reminds me so much of my own family. Right. Yeah. At whatever level it is, like. And we come from so much money. It just really it's just like it's a slice of <laughs> slice of the Rob May's life. Yeah. Filthy. Filthy. <laughs> you want some cash? I got a bunch. No, but it is like still competing for your parents' affections, oh, experiencing yeah. their traumas, your traumas. Like I found it like so compelling, and obviously these are really in many ways despicable characters but it also shows you that people there's still humanity and all of it I don't know I thought it was so good no are they despicable no I'm, that's what I'm saying they're gray like people speaking are speaking of despicable have you seen that little bit that uh, that uh, Theo Vaughn does mm-mm because he asks he asks the guy and he says you know he goes you know that, that one of my favorite movies he's like you know have you seen that uh, Despicable Me <laughs> you know Despicable me. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Want me to say it again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in my family, we say it a hundred times, and it's still funny. So it's so good. It's, it's good. so good. Shout out to Theo Vaughn. What's up? Send it to me. Um, I'll send it to you. Uh, Any other along thoughts with about a lot of money? Because I could just. Because yeah, your family's so, so much, rich. So much cash. and No, but any other thoughts about Succession, or am I just going to keep going on? Oh no, su- Succession is fantastic. Shiv. It is so well acted. Shiv. Am I shouting? No. Shiv is great. <laughs> Queen. Oh, my goodness. She's amazing. Rome is great. Um, Jeremy Strong. Holy cow. You know, I once in New York uh, saw him in person. You did? Uh He's, he's reading a book. Aww. Yeah. It's such a love affair he's to New York. It's such an ode to New York, too. Anyway, <clears throat> back to Murder, She Wrote. Like, what was your thing about Murder, She Wrote growing up? Yeah, that's my stomach. Okay. No, great. It's I just the milk. Haven't, I haven't eaten today. It's the milk. One meal a day. Glass of milk at bedtime. Is that how you keep your trim OnlyFans body? Oh, gosh. Would you stop? I'm not making it up. No, but I do. Uh, I do Pilates. I do. I do body rock here in Nashville. Oh yeah, I body see rock's your fantastic. I've got it right there in my water bottle. I do body squish. Body squish. That sounds pretty good. Wow. It's kind of. Do they have a studio or? <laughs> a class pass in my apartment. <laughs> Just. That's good. Body That's squish. That's good. Um, back to your shows. Like um, your show. I also enjoy very much a new show called The Diplomat. Oh, I love The Diplomat. Yeah. Isn't it good? I, feel I think it is impeccable like on every level. I can't wait for a new season of that. Oh, man. I don't think I finished this season. I think I'm a little behind. I've been it's busy. a very, it's very, it's very woman. I mean, it's, it's like, a, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a lower key Homeland. Oh, Homeland's great. Homeland was great. Homeland's fantastic. And then, and then when he left, it just it changed, you know? <clears throat> I did a pilot, actually, <clears throat> with the creators of, of Homeland. And I went in, and uh, <clears throat> Robert Lytell, 
uh, phenomenal, uh, you know, spy author, uh, novelist, um, was in the room with, uh, with all these producers that, that produced, wow. created freaking Homeland, you know? Wow. So I went in and I was like, guys, <laughs> can I just say? You uh, clearly did not get the part if you were like that. I got the part. Oh, okay. Sorry. I got the part. And then they let me go after two episodes and they replaced me with Morris Chestnut. Who's Morris Chestnut? Oh, he's great. He's great. <laughs> were you like, but he it took my job, so you know. Were you like, I get it. I don't, I don't follow him on Instagram for that reason. Yeah. You're like, I get it, guys. He's great. He came in. How did that happen, though? You have played the part, and then somehow. Well, another thing that I said that I shouldn't have said was <clears throat> in the initial audition. I went in, I did, did whatever I did, and then they brought me back to meet with the producers and all the creative team between behind Homeland. And Robert Lytell, the, the author, and, uh, and I was like, hey, guys, you know, I did that thing. I was like, this is just crazy that I'm in the room with you because I love that show. It's my favorite show. I like Fanboy. And then they had me come back for the test. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I tested for it. You know, the contracts are all signed, and you, you get seven, seven years of seasons negotiated, you Dick, know? So, uh, you're, that's done? That's all done? Well, that, that's how it always goes with these test deals, right? When, you, when, when you're vying for a role. And then it's be you and a couple other people up for the same role. And then, you you know, you try to Nancy Harding them. Is that her name? Break their knees? Yeah, Nancy Harding? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. You don't try to do that. But I, I went in, and, and, and this time uh, Howard Gordon was in the room. You know, created 24 along with Homeland. Tanya Harding. Nancy Kerrigan was the one she broke. Did I just do a conflate? Yeah. I just did a conflate. I was going to agree with it. I'm kind of happy. Nancy Harding. You, you Tanya Harding. If they make a show called Nancy Harding, that might be my new favorite show. Well, following your murder, she wrote theme. It would be Nancy drew something. I don't know. God, I forgot where you were in the story now. So you you're on the signing the seven year deal, and then you've yeah, so you signed, handed you signed it over, deal, and then you hand it over, and then you go in and you do the, the final uh, audition, you know, for all these people. And and I remember Howard Gordon was in there, and uh, it's first time I met him, and uh, I was like, guys, like, <laughs> you know, I don't know, I'm doing like a Tom Cruise impression right now, but I was like, guys, this is crazy. Um, you jumped on the chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just wearing my underwear and I had some sunglasses and uh, I had a cocktail, but, uh, and I took my jet. But I got there and I was like, this is crazy because I think I'm too young for this role. Literally said that in the final friggin' audition during the test. And I saw the director and casting, and they're like, what the hell are you doing? Shut up, shut up, shut up, stop, just close your mouth, you know? And I said, no, no, but seriously, I said, because if- Then you went on to explain it? Well, yeah, yeah. I should have been an attorney, you know? I would have been a bad one, but I, I should have been an attorney. I can't. And, and I told him, I said, yeah, because- <laughs> You know who would be better for this? You know Morris Chestnut? <laughs> yeah. God, got, that guy would- I got a list of guys on my phone right now that, that would be guy way would better than it. me. And, but I went on to tell him, I said, because I would hate to get the job. Why would I say this? And then you realize I'm too young for it. Oh, my God. So, honest to and a then, fault. Let me guess. You got the job. I got the job. And you lo and behold, they realized. In. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, it was me and Allie Larder and the great Sean Bean. Allie Larder? Yes. Yeah. She's so hot. Yeah. You should have married I, her. She's married, uh, I think, I believe, oh. happily. But uh, she's fantastic. She's fantastic. great. I yeah, she's loved great. her. I loved her in Lost. We, we had a scene. Speaking of favorite movies. Was she on that show? Shows? I think so. We had a scene where... I think. Well, you just moved your hand away. Now I can't even do it. But um, if your hand was there, we had a scene where I go like this. I tell her, I just, I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah. 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 Did she well up? No, she laughed. <laughs> she literally laughed. Yeah, she laughed. Anyway, and she uh, she looked in the camera. She goes, "This like, guy's this too guy. young." <laughs> Fire this guy. This guy, not believable. This dude is way too young. Yeah. I'm not. I don't yeah. feel it. I can't. So yeah. Um, you got any other great career stories? Nope. That's that's all I got. Those are the ones I just <laughs> shared them with you. <laughs> I mean, I, you did visit me in New York when I worked on the New York station. We talked yeah, about you had your, me yeah, that was really cool. talked about your movie career and then you've been able to, um, 
can't find another word. I'm just going to say it. It's not intentional, but it's coming to my head. You've been able to straddle both, uh, which is kind of rare in this town, honestly, uh, the acting and music, because uh, Nashville sometimes gets weird about non not committing fully to music. And I feel like you've done a pretty good job of it, dude. Damn. Thank you. I mean, uh, you had your premiere that I went to for Just Jake. Just Jake. Just Jake, which is a great movie that you should watch on Up TV. Up TV. Available now. Keep talking. Well, talk in the about meantime, something. talk about the movie. Uh, Kelly, you should be filling uh, in the what, blank for what me. What are your favorite uh, television shows aside from uh, the ones that we've already discussed? Uh, I love Lost. I loved Lost. I can't find it. I'll come up with other stuff. Um, I loved Lost literally died for that i was an early on boarder with game of thrones not a fake fan like the oh got as some yes, say as some would say um i also i love anything british really i love anything i love the tutors i was a i love you seen the bit where they they ask you know with the with the pasta dish and they ask do you like it? What? Do I like it? What? Do, I don't know what's that, what you, you're talking about. Do you like it? <clears throat> about the pasta dish. And then um, and then someone comes from the car and then they say, uh, do you like it? <laughs> do I like it? You're an idiot. No, this is a real thing. It is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I all of your listeners, like all of I your love, listeners and viewers are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Peaky Blinders. <clears throat> no. You need no. to watch that. I mean, no. let's be real. I think... <sighs> That's my... uh, Kieran Hines, isn't it? No, God, uh, no God. Uh, uh, Cillian Murphy. Killian. Killian. Murphy. God. He's great. I mean, let's be real. Phenomenal. My son did say to me, you need to get a full-time job. He still talks to you, okay. You're watching. Well, oddly enough, one of them doesn't. So that's funny you would say that. A little bad. Um, uh, but he's like, you need to get a full-time job, Bob. You're watching too much TV. But it's funny you said that. Uh, okay. Ted Lasso is my other current Ted Lasso, favorite. yes. Ted very, very nice. Very it's good. such a happy a show. good mustache. He does have a good mustache. No, a mustache. Yes. I like a good mustache. I'm going to be sad when that uh, that ends. That's... I haven't or maybe watched it. Maybe it won't, you know. No, it is ending. It'll just go on like no, The Simpsons. It, it ended, actually. So Well, maybe they'll bring it back. Like, they do so many shows. Perhaps. SWAT got canceled. <laughs> I had the great pleasure and good fortune to be on SWAT, and they canceled it. And I still have friends on the show. And then because of audience uproar... I love it that. Works. It works. Goes to it show you. Work. Hit them up. Hit them up. <clears throat> truly, that's People hit them up, and now it's back on the air. I will say that's how I got back on in New York, actually. Audience up. That's a true story. See? After Nashville. Did not work after they flipped it to hip-hop, though. <laughs> Unsuccess. They couldn't get it flipped back. My other favorite TV show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ever watch Craig Ferguson? Yes. Yeah, he's the best. I'm trying to see if we I miss his program. Recording. To make sure it's still happening. I'm seeing if it applaud. No? Okay. Are we still going? Sure. <laughs> nice. 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 Always down to rock out to this song. Um, all right. Uh, I have more questions to ask you. Oh, I know. Is it still going? It's, yeah, yeah. It's we're moving, still going. Right? We're still going. <clears throat> yeah, it's moving. Um, I do want to ask we're you We're not this. moving, but it's moving. <laughs> I need just a little advice before we wrap it up, because we're going to wrap it up here. Um, my daughter is celebrating her golden birthday. Do you know what that is? Of course you do. I would guess it's a big one. It's a big one because when we were young, they didn't celebrate such things. Mine would have been when I was 17 because it's whatever birthday you are on the day. She's turning 23, in fact, tomorrow. Wait, what do you mean on the day? So usually what's your birthday, your birthday? Usually your birthday is on the day. What's your birthday? <laughs> What's your birthday? What do you think my birthday is? Oh, what do I think your sign is? I love this. This is fun. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Libra, no. I I was going to guess Libra, but I'm not going to. you really? Yes. No, you weren't. So I read your mind. I read your mind. No, I I really was. I don't know why. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Scorpio. You've been to my birthday before, so... No. No? No. You have such Scorpio vibes? Scorpio. I'm going to go... Can I guess a date? 
I wish you would. <laughs> this is so fun. You're such a Scorpio. Um, is it okay. my intensity or just my wrath? What is uh, intensity? What gives You're it away? intense. <laughs> what gives it away? <laughs> <laughs> Um, he should have said, you know what? I really should have this part, but I am too young and I am a Scorpio. Um, so if you know what's good for you, I'm going to say, oh, it's tough. It was just floating in your head. I felt it. I w- I'm going to go to it's either hit me with it. No other one. Tenth. Close. Twelfth. Closer. <laughs> you only have like, what, 19 more to go or something. All right, then I'm going to go 15th and that's my final. Real close. All right, just tell me. 17. Uh, 17. Oh, so, that was fun. That was fun. So 17th would have been your golden birthday. So hers is... Oh, you, you mean when you, when you are 17... Um, no, whatever your day is. So... What do you mean your day? Your birthday? The day of the the... I don't know how to articulate this. It sounds okay. so stupid. Now you're making. Well, I would love to know what it is, and I still so don't really have so a, a feeling. It's the day, like if you're if you're 25 and your birthday is on August 25th, it'd be your golden birthday is the the day of your birth. I don't know how else to help me, people. Help Interesting. Me. So nobody like we didn't do that. So do some people? It's just really an excuse for people to extra celebrate. Let's think. 17. Okay. Okay. Right? <clears throat> So she's turning 23, kind of significant too, because she was born in 2000. So it'll be that's easy 23, math right 23, there. right? Yeah, that's good. So um, I don't know. It got me to thinking, like, what'd you do for your 23rd birthday? Well, like, happy you early celebrate? birthday to Grace, your daughter. Amazing Grace. I mean, I hope she has a, a, a golden birthday. A yes, she great, will. A great golden. She lived with me in New York birthday. and Nashville. Oh. So she come home to Nashville, and then we're going to see my family in Louisville and my sisters and the whole Man. the whole fort. It's a lot, as you can imagine. The Ford girls are a lot. My sisters are twins. Are they, are they less or more than you? Or just right? Um, I'm sure we have all have opinions about it. I think they in your, are... In your estimation. I think they are a team. Oh. They are identical twins, and they have... So they, like, coordinate. Yeah. They are, they are a force. Wow. Um, and they team up. That's all I will say. But we're all really close. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Like, what did you do? I'm trying to think of what I did for my 23rd birthday. I was so pure. Pretty pure. I mean, different times. I don't know. I was, yeah. I don't even know what I did. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. But birthdays are weird. You know, do you, weird. do you do birthdays? I, I mean, I generally have one a year, every year. I hate you. Uh, thus far, I've had one. But um, and it's it's nice. You, you know, this is crazy because I've got a buddy of mine and uh, and he called me on one of my birthdays and he said, how are we doing on time? I was going to look. <clears throat> and uh, oh, we're good. We're, we, we can wrap it up. OK. But no. Well, thanks so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to Allie Lauder? I'm, well, to her character. My character said it to her character. All right. Well, I'm about to say it to you because I'm touching you. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That was really good. You. you could have gotten the, my part. Right. But finish your story about your <clears throat> buddy. Um, and he called me and he said, uh, I'm so glad you were born. You know, something to the effect like uh, this world wouldn't be you know, the place it is without you, blah, blah, blah. Right? Okay. <clears throat> but it's so sweet. And um, it made me, for the first time in my life, realize and see uh, the significance of a birthday in a different light. It's not like, oh, I'm one year older, you know? Like, that's that's how I grew up. It's like, oh, you're a year older. How many candles are on the cake, right? <clears throat> and I was like, oh, man, birthday just means age. No. I agree. It means that you exist. Yeah, I totally you were agree. You born. I, 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 but am I the only one, like, seriously, am I the only one that I was like, wait a minute, this is, this is like life-changing, earth-shattering realization in terms of perspective 
No, I think you're, I, I validate your truth on that. I do think I genuinely believe you, my, it has been such a weirdly humbling year for me and such a year of growth for me that honestly, I do feel like if you've been through anything in your life and, and honestly, the older you get, I mean, the more you value another trip, you know, and I think you don't have to, I think it is really important to acknowledge it. I mean, you don't have to be like, woo, party, it, but just to go, yeah, I'm still here. You can just go. I'm still fighting. Ooh. I'm still like, I'm still have an opportunity. <clears throat> and I do feel like some people, this is really important to me right now. To, so I told you that my hand fell asleep and I can't feel it now. That would be the wrong time. To you want me to karate chop it? I'm, just touch it and tell me I'm going to be okay again. <laughs> You're going to be okay. Okay. Well, I am now. It's better. Okay. I'm listening. But I do think that no matter what your age, young or old, that a lot of people get to the point where they're just living to die. And that's really deep. But I do think they, that you give up and there's no reason to give up and that you should find purpose. I'm not saying this to you directly, but there is like... Well, these are the only reasons you should ever give up in life. And they are. And no, I'm kidding. <clears throat> there's never a reason. No. But it's easy we're, to we're say. Here. It's easy to it's easy to say. It's, it's easy, easy to, to say into, that, and it's easy to to slip into that. But you know, uh, we're here for a reason, and um, you know, make the best of it. And but again, when things are, I, I think a lot of times when things are going your way and things are great, it's very easy to say that. But for anybody who's experienced any well, kind of loss or absolutely or been down or it's it it's a little Have harder you to seen say that. The TV show, the series, uh, I think it's on Netflix. Um, called Beef? No. Okay. So it starts off <clears throat> two people who I think, I think both, are, well, they're both unhappy people. And I think they both want to kill themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they end up getting into this road rage incident so bad that then they make it their life's purpose, a newfound purpose to live, to make the other's life a living hell. Wow. Yeah. It's worth watching. I think that's what it's about. I only watched the first episode, but uh, it was best. It means it sounds depressing. Definitely, definitely something. But it's something to. But it goes to show you. Another birthday. Mine's coming Purpose. up in August. I'm a Leo. Could you make it special, Rob? Absolutely. Okay. Lights what went out. Cool I do adore you. I'm glad you were born. Uh, I'm glad you were here. Feel like we covered a lot of ground. We did. Mm -hmm. we really did. We we pretty much covered the gamut of things uh, that w two people could talk about. I think so too. But there's more to cover. You'll be back. And you know what? And we can discuss the same thing again next Rob time. Mays. Go follow him, Hog City on Instagram. Watch the movie, Just Jake, on Up TV. And you know what, Rob Mays? Uh -uh. I'm just going to be okay or no. I'm it? just glad, glad you're, you're okay. okay. Yeah. I know your lines better than you. That's why you, you didn't get the part. You do. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. On that note. All right. Bye. <laughs>